I had an incredible life from humble beginnings. I grew up in a working class neighborhood of Stanton Heights in the city of Pittsburgh. We played touch football on the street and tackle football in a nearby cemetery. High school was at an inner city school called Peabody. One field goal post was against the school. The other field goal post was against the fence. If you ran out of the end zone, you had real problems. Stanton Heights in Pittsburgh, Pennsylvania raised David Tepper. And though much has changed in the last 50 years, the people and the values remain. I traveled there last week to learn a little more about the Panthers' new owner. You got to know a lot of different people, a lot of different nationalities. Again, like I said, it was sort of like a melting pot. The neighborhood kids and, uh, found common ground in sports, sneaking into Allegheny Cemetery to play football. As a kid, Tom Starcinich played here until he would get run off by the security guard. Now, he's the general manager. It's sort of neat to think back on that, to think back that this, the, we were kids of all colors, all creeds, playing ball. All that was important was, hey, you want to play ball? Okay, you're my buddy because you play ball. Nobody plays telephone pole to telephone pole anymore. I mean, football on the street. Al Vento owns Vento's Pizza. In East Liberty Institution, for over a half century, his father, Big Al, would feed hundreds of students from nearby Peabody High School, including David Tepper. David Tepper. First met him in a bowling league at the Lucas Lanes. He was tall, cruel, crazy afro, but fun. Always fun. And we bowled together for at least three or four years. Vento isn't surprised by Tepper's success, recounting a recent conversation he had with a mutual friend. And he said, hey, how about Tep? He bought the Carolina Panthers. I said, it's a beautiful thing. Another, another East Liberty boy does good. Pittsburgh is proud of their own. And the community where David Tepper grew up takes care of their own. Al's father was known to give away pizza to kids who couldn't afford it. It's like when a push comes to shove, and somebody in the community needs it and there's the phone if the phone rings i really think that the people that answer it they're going to come to the, they're going to come to the aid and perhaps that has instilled tepper's sense of philanthropy because at heart he is and always will be that kid from pittsburgh sometimes it seems like different lives for me and i do appreciate i think it gives me appreciation to help to do the charity side and you know where i came from and you know how people uh, lived and what happens in certain situations. He's still a salt of the earth. You know, I don't know how he is in the business ring. I just know when he comes back here and he pops in my shop, he's still the same he was when he was going to high school. His last visit came within the last year. Vento was surprised when a limousine pulled up to his shop until David Tepper stepped out. I said, David, what's going on? We start, we hugged a little bit. Next thing I know, because let me introduce you to my wife and kids. I said, oh, you brought them for some good pizza. It's about time you did something, David. We're just getting started here at QCOT, and we're working on more stories about local athletes who are overcoming challenges and making a difference. Next week, we'll introduce you to a freshman at Mallard Creek who was once nearly paralyzed due to a rare disease, and now he's a starter on the varsity soccer team. I just wanted to play soccer again, and that was a big factor of me just wanting to stay alive. You can see his story here on Channel 9's QCOT next Sunday at 11.35, and it'll be on WSOCTV.com. And our apps on Roku, Apple TV, and Amazon Fire. Thank you for watching our first episode. We'll be back next week with more.